Hey, what's going on, guys? Thursday, February 16th, 2012. Uh, let's see what happened. Very nice, calm, serene day at work. Very, very chill. There were, like, no managers at work today. Got to be on Express, which I love. That's good. Uh, the... I found out that after tomorrow, uh, the evil one will be on vacation. Uh, he's got a pers personal day on Saturday, and then and then he'll be on vacation all next week. So we get about eight full days without having to uh, look at the evil one. So, uh, yeah, that's that's gonna be very cool. Well, that'll be our vacation. All right, so. Um, the main reason for uh, today's little chat, vlog, whatever we want to call these things. Uh, we'll call them vlogs, I guess. Alright. Yesterday, I found out something. Go on the little Twitter. And uh, I saw a tweet from a person by the name of Jim Ross. And if you don't know who he is... If you have been a wrestling fan, like I have for the past 25, 30 years, uh, this guy is one of the greatest wrestling announcers, if not the greatest wrestling announcers ever. He's like, as far as I'm concerned, is like the voice of the WWE. But anyway, I saw a tweet, and I saw something that really got me excited, and I'm still excited. It was announced... There was an official in fact at the stadium. There was an official press conference with with Chris Christie, who's who's the, like the the mayor uh, of New Jersey, and uh, Vince McMahon and Triple H and John Cena and a bunch of the other WWE superstars. That not this year, but next year's WrestleMania, WrestleMania 29, will be held. In good old New Jersey, East Rutherford, New Jersey, Giants Stadium. Yes, the home of the current Super Bowl champion, New York Giants. So, this makes me very happy. Uh, and I have a bunch of friends that already were like, we gotta get tickets, we gotta get a group together, by hell or high water, hook or by crook, and any other cliche you want to throw out there saying... Uh, we need to get tickets to this thing. Um, when they go on sale, how, when, why, I don't know. Uh, really don't have any information other than that, but at some point they'll go on sale and one way, hopefully I'll be able to get tickets for this. So yeah, I'm very excited for this for, cause you know, uh, if you looking at this video, in case you haven't figured it out by now, now, for those who know me well, uh, I have two obsessions in my life. One, of course, is Star Wars, and the other one is professional wrestling. I've been watching since like 80, 83 or eighty-four. So through you know the the Hulkamania era. Through the uh, the Hulkamania era. I don't know. Some, uh, the Hulkamania and uh, the mid-80s. And Macho Man, Randy Savage, and Ultimate Warrior. And then in the 90s you had Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels. And then Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Undertaker. And... and Degeneration X and all that stuff. Uh, you know, whatever else. And then to, you know, the current, all the current guys, your Randy Orton's and, and John Cena's and so on. And, and there's about a billion other names I could list. So I, I've been watching wrestling for a long time. And I've been to two WrestleManias before. It was at WrestleMania 10 and WrestleMania 20, which was at uh, Madison Square Garden. But now here's another chance. And it's the first time uh, WrestleMania has been in Jersey 
since WrestleMania 5. WrestleMania 4 and 5 were uh, at the Trump Plaza, Atlantic City. So, so yeah, so that got me really, really excited. Uh, you know, it's it's WrestleMania. There's, you know, it's 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 huge. It's a huge deal. If I can be as bold, it's almost on par as far as like like how big of an event is as like the Super Bowl. Uh, now, I'm not trying to compare professional wrestling to football, but it's like the you have some of the same characteristics in that cities. It's become that the type of event where cities vie to try and get it in their in their town because it brings you know there's all sorts of other events leading up in the the week leading up to and fan stuff and different various things and you have fans will come all from all over the country all over the world to come see this event and you know and certainly WrestleMania does that just like the Super Bowl does you know and and people are like well you can't compare wrestling to football cuz you know football is real and wrestling is fake and you know I'm not trying to you, you know if you're getting that out of what I'm saying you're 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 missing what I'm trying to to say here. I'm just saying that it's like, you know, it. You know, anyone that was in the Indianapolis area uh, back a couple weeks ago when the Super Bowl was going on, I'm sure there was tons of excitement and tons of stuff going on because it's it's just draws people because you know everyone is going to be focused on watching this event. Now, you know, it's not. I'm not saying that there's as many people that will watch wrestling that will just watch this WrestleMania, like the Super Bowl. On you know, it's a different kind of thing, but it is up there. And you know, there are people that I know don't watch wrestling at all the whole year, but they will watch WrestleMania, or you know, they don't order any pay per view events, but they'll get pay- WrestleMania because it's, it's WrestleMania, you know. You know, some of the biggest matchups ever in the history of wrestling have happened at this event. You know, your your Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant, you know, indoor attendance record that still stands to this day in Detroit, Michigan. You know, ninety three thousand one hundred and seventy three people witnessed that matchup. You know, to Hulk Hogan versus Randy Savage WrestleMania Five, and Hulk Hogan and the Ultimate Warrior WrestleMania Six, and so on. Uh, so many, you know, WrestleMania. I believe it was eighteen. Eighteen, I think it was. Yeah, that had Hulk Hogan wrestling The Rock. Uh, WrestleMania Twelve. So many wrestling fans will cite Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, and the Iron Man match. You know, as one of the greatest matches ever. You know, so many other. You know, there's the undefeated streak of the Undertaker and so on. He's nineteen and zero and all this stuff. So any anyway, I, again, I can go on and on and on and on. I'm going to start boring some of you people, I'm sure, because you know some. You know, I'm sure there's plenty of you that aren't really interesting, but. This I think this is a this is a, a big deal. For, I I think it's going to be very exciting around this area, and just as uh, a year after that, the Super Bowl is at Giant Stadium. So two big events back to back, you know, which is going to both cases are going to generate a lot of media, a lot of attention, uh, a lot of events all around the area. I'm sure in the city and Jersey and whatnot. There should be all sorts of thing so uh you know for me personally this is this is a very big deal i was so excited to to hear about this uh so that's as soon as i heard about it i was like okay that's what i'm going to be talking about today and you know that's what i wanted to talk about that's what's on my mind uh and i just i'm excited for it you know it's not into it's 
more than a year away. As this year's WrestleMania is April 1st. So we're more than a year away from next year. But it's still... You know, it's still... Uh, it's a it's a big deal. You know, at least for me, I think it's a big deal. It's, uh, it's, I think it's really, really exciting. It's just the idea that you know, it's, it's going to be like 70,000 people. You know, it's in... Uh, there's not a roof... On this stage, it's like an open air stadium, which is like, well, what if it rains? What if it snows in April? Which is possible in Jersey. Uh, maybe some interesting stuff. So, either way, so but there's still plenty of time. There's, like I said, more than a year to even think or worry about this. So, so uh, you know, there's plenty of time to. For them to for things to be planned and whatnot, but uh, yeah, that's that's it. That's what I wanted to talk about today. It's just it's just something like I said. It's just on my mind that I'm excited for, and even though it's a long way off. Uh yeah. So that's gonna do it for today. And uh, until tomorrow, I'll I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night, guys. So long.